the aforementioned uh, Clemson Tigers and Georgia Tech, the option football. Hmm. Rob, uh, you pick first. Clemson. <laughs> <laughs> I love Rob. <Robin. laughs> He's on it. Yeah, I'm going to go Clemson. Yeah, Clemson. Go Tigers. Four Clemsons. The green wave of Tulane <laughs> travels to Columbus, Ohio. Number four, Ohio State and Urban Myers first game back. Yeah, I hope he gets beat. Uh, no <laughs> pun intended, right? No. <laughs> wow. The puns are flying. Oh, oh, I didn't even see what I did there. It's even better that you didn't oh. know. <laughs> I don't think anybody's gonna pick against Ohio State. No, I don't think no. so. No. Yeah. I'm not. I don't think anybody's gonna fight back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you see their new practice jerseys? See, I catch or, your jokes, I don't catch my own. What? They're white sleeveless shirts. Oh yeah. With a low cut neck. Yeah. White oh, beaters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. They they say they really know how to dot that eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nobody, nobody's going to report the beating either. Can we just? No. Can we? <laughs> oh, so man. are we? Are we going for Rated. for the Ohio State universities? The yes. Ohio State. Yeah. Next game, Big Twelve matchup. Kansas State travels to Morgantown, number twelve, West Virginia. I think uh, I think West Virginia is a little cocky right now, and uh, Kansas State's a tough football team. Always, even when they suck. Um, but I still think West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> so you did all that talk. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to build I up award you no State. points <laughs> and have God <laughs> have, have mercy, mercy on, on your, your soul. soul. <laughs> I, uh, that's what I do, Terry. <laughs> so, just <laughs> like Kansas State, Kansas State, Kansas State. Yeah, but they're going to get their ass kicked. Just let me so, be <laughs> me. Just let me be <laughs> me, Terry. And at no point in your incoherent rambling. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie so much. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna go West Virginia for Brett. So, West Virginia. So the industrial industry is like Clifford. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yes. West Virginia. West Virginia. West Virginia for me as well. You got to talk into the microphone, I, Rob. Nah. I do. You, I, oh, I mean, I, <laughs> I looked over and there wasn't a mic there, so I didn't even think he had a mic. <laughs> Drop the microphone. I, you know, Kansas State just is not the normal feisty Kansas State this year, in my opinion. So yeah, West Virginia, uh, number thirteen, Virginia Tech travels to. Yes, they have a football team, Old Dominion. Old Dominion. <laughs> What's their Tech. mascot? Isn't Old Dominion a country band or a trucking line <laughs> <laughs> or a football team? Uh, I'm gonna. I'm going to pick Virginia Tech against all of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Virginia Tech. Yeah. Tech. Actually, I got Va Tech as a dark horse to make it into the playoff. You and Brad both? Yep. Yeah, mine was Florida State. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's going to work out for you. No, no week one. My dark horse was <laughs> yep. ascending. Yep. His dark horse, decent. Plummeted. Yeah. My dark horse is now a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I look at the ACC a lot like if the Big 12 had two divisions. Yeah. Whatever division Oklahoma's in, there's a representative, and somebody's going to get lucky enough to play Oklahoma, <laughs> and if they have one good game. That's all they need. And if Vatek has one good game against Clemson in their championship. Well, the, don't, don't they have a tough schedule? They have... I know they come. They get they get Notre Dame at home. They get Notre Dame. Their tough game was at Florida State. No, they have another one, they too. They have two games at home that are they're Miami. They get Miami, Miami at home, and they get um, and they get Notre Dame at home. I thought there was mm. one other one, but I'll take Virginia Tech still. Yeah, Virginia yeah. Tech. You look it up. So I'm, FIU. I'm going to. <laughs> yeah, you look it up. I am. Hey, I, I'll admit if I'm wrong. You will. But it's late in the day. I'm kind of tired on my time. <laughs> um, FIU at Miami again. We're just talking Miami. 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 Spoke in the mic. I love it. So wh- why why doesn't Florida just the state of Florida have their own football conference? Because there's like 32 teams. I mean, if Texas had, <laughs> if the state of Texas had their own conference, there's only one undefeated team. That's yeah. North Texas. <laughs> uh, you gotta love that, don't yeah. you? Yeah, so, how bad are those teams in no, Florida? Yeah, though? you're right. <clears throat> and oh, can, can you say that loud? Yeah, well, we didn't hear you. You <laughs> are right, Bradley Johnson. You jackass. Sorry. Uh, but, yeah, you're right. Miami is the other game. 
And they get both of them at home. They get Notre Dame at home and Miami at home. What? Well, uh- let me get my get give my <laughs> Chris Pound to Rob. That's why we you. pick them. We knew, hey, week you. one, if they get past Florida State, it, it's a it's a it's, doable. Yeah, you're venture. so exhausted. Yeah, Miami's a but we were rating. speaking about the state of Texas, and since we're speaking about the state of Texas, we got to talk about TCU in Texas. <laughs> Man, you know, Texas with confidence is probably a pretty good team. I I like TCU. I want TCU to win. I hate Texas. I want them to lose. <laughs> who do you think I'm gonna go with? You got you guys take wagers wagers on who I'm gonna bet. I was sitting there going, he's gonna prop up somebody and then go the other way. Yeah, <laughs> right now, now I'm propping up both of them. Right now, he so what are you Texas gonna do? Tech. I don't know what he's gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Texas Tech. Texas. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I'll take TCU. TCU for Brett. TCU. TCU. Texas Christian University. Texas Christian. Yeah. Yeah. Texas is not going to win. They're trash. TCU. They're trash. Oh, oh, wow. The boys from Louisiana. McNeese State travels to <laughs> Salt Lake City. Is Salt, no, where, where, where is Provo? Provo. Provo. Play BYU. It's BYU. not on Sunday, is it? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it won't be. BYU beat a good Wisconsin team last week, so I'm going to ride that train. Yeah. But. Mormons. I think BYU is going to beat the spirit child out of McNeese State. <laughs> BYU. <laughs> You're an evil person, Brad. You're an evil, evil person. I apologize. <laughs> I love you nonetheless, but you're just evil. So, yeah, we're going to go BYU. Hey, I'm picking them. Hey, they beat Wisconsin. 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 Yeah. Well, you, you have to say it that way. You can't just say Wisconsin. I was just in the, uh, the Badgers. Well. Didn't they shut Bryce Love down? Yeah. I was just in uh, the Mall of America in Minnesota, and we were like every person that we talked to to buy stuff from. Said, you want to do our game it, like, now? Or is it is a thing. It's it's okay. Like I know it's Minnesota, but they still talk the same over there. So, eh? so another bulldog, eh? How's it going another on? bulldog uh, university out there, Louisiana Tech Bulldogs <laughs> versus the LSU Bayou Bengal Tigers. Boy, those SEC teams schedule tough. Don't I'm going to go with the Bulldogs. Stop it. <laughs> uh, this is a team that lost to Troy last year, so stop Louisiana it. Tech. Don't, you're stop telling it. me there's a chance. <laughs> Give me your beer right now. <laughs> Over at LSU? Uh, yeah. Man. That's my That's a bold prediction, That's Cotton. my bold prediction. I'm glad we're not betting anything on this day because you would lose. <laughs> no, LSU. LSU. Are you going are you doing that because of Troy last year? I'm I I think LSU is overrated. I think they're overrated too, but they could be overrated and still be but Louisiana Tech. Louisiana, Louisiana Tech, Tech overrated. <laughs> but hey. I tell you, I can't believe Terry talking about what they <laughs> <this play. laughs> I tell you, the best thing you'll ever <laughs> hear <laughs> is when Coach Orgeron, when he coached at Ole Miss, did the local Hummer dealership. Oh my God! I got a Hummer. You get you a Hummer. <laughs> and I mean, it's a, it's the funniest stuff you'll ever hear. <laughs> I mean, it's you got a Hummer. I get a Hummer. You get a Hummer. <laughs> it's hilarious. I'm gonna go LSU. Yeah, I don't have faith in. So, the, so if 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 I'm right, I better get something like crazy cool from. Oh, Arizona. you know what? I'm glad that you brought this up uh, because <laughs> I have to do this, and and I don't think me being on your podcast means that I am exempt from doing it oh, because I lost a bet. Um, so. <laughs> I just want everybody to know that I, I'm a pretty princess. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good I, wager. I, 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 I don't, I don't want. I don't want to know what y'all bet. <laughs> and 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 by year's end, if you stay tuned to our podcast, don't don't look into a it. A pretty princess, maybe wearing a tutu. <laughs> that's true. That's true. I don't know what's up with the the princess stuff and the tutu stuff and why those are tutu how those, uh, was uttered out of your mouth. I know. And, I know, and, and you said apparently you know, you'll have because to run I'm a, a marathon princess. in a tutu, and I said we're running a five k. If you can make that, <laughs> you uh, trust me. In a marathon, your nipples sometimes rub off. I don't want to be wearing a tutu and have to work. Forget that. No word no. of advice: don't but invest, I'm the lead. don't investigate the bet. It's not a place you want to be. <laughs> no, uh, let's just go with it, Roger. I and, and, and in case nobody heard, I'm a pretty princess. Um, <laughs> I'll have to flip this. I wrote, I, I, we're doing OU last, so. Um, old, no, no, Mississippi State Bulldogs against Kentucky Wildcats. Ooh. That's a, that, that is, to me, one of the, 
my lack for a better term, sexier games of the week. That's so that was your lack of better term. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Fighting Mark Stoopses. Yes. The Fighting Marks. Uh I'm you know what? I'll take a Stoops. Give me Kentucky. Yeah, I'm I'm going the same way. Man, I don't know. I don't know. Miss Stoops pretty good. Where is it at? It is at Kentucky. Okay, I'll take Kentucky. Hey. Kentucky. <laughs> I am going to go with Mississippi State. That's good. <laughs> Texas Tech in Stillwater. Ugh. Or as I like to call stool water. 172 points total. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> the over under is 94. No. I am going to pick against Oklahoma State for the rest of the year. Whether that makes me lose this bet or not, I hate them so much. Yeah, that was one of my winners last week. I picked them over there Boise State. Yeah. See, there you go. So uh, give me Tech. Tech for Brett. Rob, you go. Man, I, I this is another one. Mississippi State and Kentucky, yeah. and then and, and of course they're both on at the same time. Is, is of course, Stinkwater. It's it's up in, in Stinkwater. Yep. Yeah, I'll take the yellow jailbirds, uh, orange jailbirds. Orange jailbirds. <laughs> I was like, wait, <laughs> I was like, who's yellow? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Iowa State's got a little yellow in there. Yeah, I'll take the pokes. Ugh. This one's a tough one. Yeah, that's a, see, I, you know what? I'll lose the bet over picking <laughs> that stupid ass team. Yeah, because you just feel dirty. It just well, no, I, I feel like taking. Go, I hate them, man. I gotta go take a shower but now. I hate their like. fans. I would root for Oklahoma State all the time if their fans weren't because, insufferable. Because I, you know, it pains me to say this. Because Oklahoma State looks like they've assembled assembled some sort of pass rush. Yeah, and Tech is Tech. <laughs> I'm gonna go OSU. I wonder why Tech doesn't uh, doesn't let their offense play defense too. Just go both ways because yeah. it couldn't be any worse. It couldn't. <laughs> just blitz. <laughs> play like a. Just, well, I just play like a what was it, Jerry Glanville with the Falcons. Yeah. Just blitz the hell out of every play. And just <laughs> nine guys going for the ball and then, yeah, Arkansas. Whoever's playing Arkansas. <laughs> Done another dumpster fire. Liberty. No, at Auburn. Oh, oh well, jeez. <laughs> Why are we even picking that game? Are hey, they ranked? me a couple podcasts ago. I'm like, man, the first few weeks is tough because it's just gimme are, games. Who's ranked? Auburn still? Auburn is ranked number nine. They Auburn. have only. Oh, yeah. Be, yeah. They've only lost to LSU. I'll they take Auburn. They beat Washington at the beginning of the year. Oh, that's going to be a fight. I'll take Auburn. Auburn, Auburn, Auburn. Yes. Michigan State off their. No, they won last week. It was two weeks ago they lost to Arizona State. Yeah. Uh, Michigan State to Indiana. Another one. Indiana's playing a little bit better. Mm, I'll take Michigan State. Yeah, Michigan State. MSU, MSU. Is that Indiana? At Indiana. I'll take Indiana. Indy. Just because Michigan State, you know, that whole scandal. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go Indy as well. <laughs> Good call. Stanford and Oregon. Number seven versus number 20. This actually should be a good game, but give me Oregon. It's at Oregon, right? At Oregon, at the Otson Asylum <laughs> that we all know. Yeah. Well, here, I got the ball. Yeah. We don't care. Oh, no, it's still Oregon's ball. <laughs> but I have it. No, you don't. No, I don't care. <laughs> the guy in the booth said they'll burn his house down if he lives here in Eugene. If he gives the ball to you, he doesn't have a house anymore. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll take Oregon. No, no, no. Stanford. Sorry. Ooh. He's going to go with his first pick, doesn't he? You hyped all that up for Oregon and then he picks Stanford? <laughs> who, who, who are you going, Brett? Uh, Oregon. Oregon. Stanford for me. So we got three Stanfords in Oregon. Brett out there all alone with his duck. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Brett? We got, Why? We got Wisconsin. Wisconsin. At Iowa. Oh, Wisconsin. The Badgers. Iowa. Iowa. Wow. You know, I just is that, gotta, beca- is that because they beat Iowa State? No, I just got to I- say, <laughs> I, wait, I just got to say, you know, it's my alma mater. So go Hawkeyes. Subconsciously, it's because of that. <laughs> uh, and I really like the wave. It's at Iowa. I like the wave thing. Yeah. So I thing. don't care about either team. Yeah. So. 
Last pick before we go OU. Sun Devils. Arizona State travels to Washington. Oh, that's a, that's a little Arizona football State after dark. Is, Arizona State is not winning that game. They lost to a bad Fresno State team last week. Last week. San Diego State. That's what I said. Washington. 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 <laughs> you know, growing up in Oklahoma and hearing my grandma yeah. say the wash room. Yeah, wash room. Like, Speaking of Washington, how do you think that kid – What do you kid, want me to do in there? How do you think that kid uh, feels – so he's gonna eat shit if we won ten games. No. <laughs> Every now and then somebody reposts. Yeah, that. Oh yeah. It, <laughs> I just scroll through and I'm like, I love oh, cool. I love OU Twitter because we do not forget. Yeah. It, it, it comes up every single it's week. Forever. I, I look forward to seeing that account deleted. As, a, as as the coach of Arizona State when he was on ESPN. Don't hit send. <laughs> he li- tells every, all you athletes out there, Herm Edwards, he's like, just don't hit it's send. send. I, gotta, a little, I got to be honest with you. If I'm the one that sent out that tweet. I'm probably telling everybody right now, yeah, I'm, I'm totally reneging on that. <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> not yeah. even crap. Yeah. Here's, here's the thing. I uh, There's a little unknown fact about that, that kid. So uh, I got into it with him last year, and this is when I had angry, so I was a little bit more angry than I am now. Um, anyway, so he was, he got so upset with Oklahoma Sooner fans for going after him for that, that he started going on our recruits, Theo Weiss, RJ Henderson, stuff like that. And saying that we're a racist university and this and that. It was just being a complete jackass. So I just, I, I, I do my thing on computers. I know a little bit what I'm doing. So I did my research and I found out that he's a, he's a kid in, in Washington, lives outside of Seattle. Um, and he's in high school. And uh, he's in chess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I found out uh, his mom's name, and his girlfriend's name, and no, so I, I just messaged to play him. like the theme music to Magnum PI. Yeah, so I, <laughs> so I just yeah, messaged. You want to know about this kid? Yeah, boom. I, so I just messaged him, and I was like, "Hey, man, you really need to chill out. Like, yeah. you know, it's just Twitter fight, blah blah blah." And he, you know, kind of was being a jackass to me, and I was like, "Well, I guess I'll send your tweets to your mom." And he was like, what? And I posted his mom's Facebook account. He freaked out, dude. He freaked out. And he was legitimately way... If you notice from that, if you go back on his timeline, you'll see a point from when he was a complete jackass to he's just kind of a jackass. And that was that moment. <laughs> and I don't know if you remember me telling you this. I go, the only thing that would have topped that is at the end, you do the Jason Bourne and say, hey, man, get some rest. You look like you need it. <laughs> You're watching me out my window. Yeah, Pretty funny. All right. Boom, 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 boom. We're ready for OU. Boom, Sooner, baby. (laughs) Sooners roll. Number five, Oklahoma hosts. I'm picking the Sooners. We're going to Army. No. (laughs) (laughs) We we do scores for OU games. Okay, well, here's here's what we ought to do instead of score. This is what Rob and I did with ours, with our group that does our Wednesday night. Okay. Let's look at this. Let's do this one, too, plus the scores. Uh, they're averaging 304 yards a game. Do the, does Army get more or less than that, or what is what would be your on the ground? You mean yeah, on the ground. Yeah. What, less. Would, what would your yardage be? That's pick, our over pick, under. Pick your yeah, pick the yardage. Are they going to get 220 on the ground? They're going to get 220. So you're saying 220, Rob? Would oh, you? Say? Yeah, I that's, think I think that's why I like you, Rob. <laughs> Great minds, <laughs> man. That's a on the spot here. Let me think. I went with Hype Man Harry. He started doing our podcast on Wednesdays. Uh, so uh, I, me and him are the same, 150 yards. Oh. See, I, so you I, are drinking that Kool-Aid. Yeah. That's whole statement, just, Cotton. <laughs> you're I, drinking the Kool-Aid, but you're you're pouring some rum in there. No, I'm, no, no, no. I'm just telling you. I just do the speed of our linebackers. Yeah. They're they're not going to get to that corner. They're, yeah, they're just gonna not going to be able to do I'm it. Gonna say, I agree. I'm going to say right around 235. What is this? The price is right. Two thirty six. One yard. <laughs> no, I, I think I'm going by what I've seen. If we're not going, you got to wrap up. You got to be consistent, and they're going to pound us the entire game. Their starters are going to play the whole game. Yeah, and they're going to get and maybe garbage time, but garbage it, the four yeah. quarters. Is four counts, quarters. Yeah. Yeah. You so, may be right. By the time we pull everybody out. They're at a, just they over 100 at yards, <laughs> and then they get an extra 130 yeah. in garbage time. Four minutes left in the fourth quarter. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and it only takes one 
second or third string safety missing a tackle and they bust a 45 yarder yeah. and you're like man that's a good point so i'm still going with 150 though. <laughs> yeah, i like it i like it I don't, I don't care if your point made sense is what i'm saying <laughs> now, going on now here, here's a here's you're another one right? you're an official I, boy because like it's know. the same thing on our podcast like i don't here's, care if you're right do, do we have a hundred yard rusher no you don't think we do no, no. That's a legitimate question. No, I don't think we, we did. didn't have one last game. Didn't have one last game. I think I think we're going to have two hundred yards, no. three hundred yards rushing. Nope. Sermon breaks out. I think we have two hundred yards rushing. Ooh. Really? Okay. Say yeah. that. Wow. That's, I'm going to say Sermon breaks out I don't and think gets over hundred. I don't think they're going to be in there long enough to get a hundred yards. I think Sermon's going to get it on just a couple runs. Sermon and Kyler. Yeah. So you said one fifty on the yardage. Yep. One fifty army and, army yardage and no on the hundred yard rusher. Correct. You said two, two hundred yard rushers. Two hundred. No, you said uh, how many uh, over under? You're going under three hundred and six yards rushing for. Army. Oh yes, yes. What's what? What's your roundabout number? For I them? think I said two and a quarter. You said two hundred. Yeah. I said two hundred. Okay. Two hundred. And you're saying we're gonna have two one hundred yard rushers? Yep. It's because he's a real Sooner fan, Brad. Oh, I knew I'd get your attention with that. I knew it. I knew it. We don't it. care what you said. So I'll put mine down. You're the best Sooner fan I, I know. I think. Don't get pissy with me. Too, ooh, pissy. I love you. Big words are coming up. Unconditionally. And ooh. I think you're the greatest Sooner fan on the planet. <laughs> now you're just making stuff up. No, I, this is, I'm I telling think we're going to get a 100 yard rusher. Who is it going to be? Kyler Murray. Good call. Good bet. So, I, think he, I think against this team, him keeping it, he's going to go for a West Virginia type 66 yarder and then in the rest of his little scrambles, he'll yeah. go for 100. So, and you, and you said 220 on the ground Two, for them. Yeah, 220. And, and we do have a 100 yard rusher. I don't know who to, I think it's going to be <clears throat> Sermon. Final score? Um, Win by 40, I know. 30, yeah. Burns. Yeah. See? Like, 37 17. Because you probably can't see. I was showing 37 you 17. 37 17. That's low on our end for you. I know. Okay. Well, I got him. I have to. Close to mine. Though. I have to tell everybody every week that I'm a pretty princess because of. <laughs> I, I was going to so. go like 49 or 52 points, but I think it's going to be more like 42 points for us. I think Lincoln calls off the dogs. And I think they get a, I think they get like two or three field goals and one touchdown and get score sixteen. I got fifty five seventeen. Ooh. Fifty five yeah. seventeen. I don't care if he does call off the dogs. I think our puppies our, will our, still yeah. will still be able to move the ball. To like that Rob, reference I got there. Forty nine ten. Forty nine to ten. I'm the reasonable one here today. <laughs> <laughs> Which spreads thirty again? Thirty one. Yeah, thirty. Yeah. Thirty one. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. And the reason I that's a half, that 31 and a half. We need to run our offense. Yeah. I mean, our offense needs to start chugging. It. Yeah. So he's going to he's gonna score a lot in the first half, I think, and pull it back. Yeah. Second. Well, and, and the reason I said about their yardage, they've got a, a, a good quarterback running the ball, but they're running backs and they're fullbacks. Every guy, one guy's 5'9", 240. Another guy's six foot two thirty five. Yeah. I mean, they're all like little all stats. They're bruisers. And they're all like little Jerome Bettises. And I just I want to see it. Yeah, I haven't yet. I I haven't got to see that style against our guys in the wrapping. Our secondary is going to have to make some tackles. Yeah, there's well, been times I, where Buki doesn't just go lay a shoulder into a guy. It looks cool uh, on TV, but he's got to stop it. It only it only looks cool if you're you know the opposing team's fan. It yeah. pisses me off every time I see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anytime shoulder. you go try to and do a not big just shot, him. not wrap up. It's not just him. No, no, it's not. Yeah. No, but you're uh, correct. Um, I mean, the, there was the one time he he missed the tackle and actually wrapped up from behind. Oh, had, yeah. you know, had to grab the kid from behind. But it, that I I don't think Army's going to get to the corners as much as what people think. I think you're yeah. right on that. I mean, yeah. Murray, did, did you watch it, those the plays against UCLA when they ran the option? Yeah, well, him I and mean, Ryan Jones, you got to you, you got to expect to see think Ryan. We'll Jones. stay in a four man front. Yeah, I think they're not, just gonna, not not the fourth guy standing up, like four guys hands in the ground. Yeah, I okay. think they're just going to line think they up. Have to against this offense. Yeah, and they're and and, and they're they're, they're going to chase. They're you know Murray and you know our linebacking crew is just so fast. Yeah, 
I mean, because yeah. they, they were chasing Ryan Jones. You they were in chasing there. inside He's out get work against, against yeah. UCLA, and before they could even get to the corner, they were back there. Yeah, yeah. And B- yeah. Buki will pretty much be not even in a slot. Right. He'll be at safety. Yeah. Back there. Back there, just just in case. Yeah. You know, because it'll be Jones, Bolton, Murray, and I've been Jackson. touting. Right. I've been touting yeah. Kenneth Murray as you know as a very similar Roquan, Roquan Smith. Yeah. Like he's very, very fast, very athletic, not afraid to hit you all over the field, you know. And then he's got the work ethic to to know and prepare and be ready for the game. I, he's just outstanding. Um, you know, one thing that we haven't talked about is the when we've talked a lot about rushing, but we haven't talked. Uh, I don't think that they're going to be able to cover any of our guys. No, between CD and Marquise <laughs> and and Calcaterra, our backs out of the back. I mean, that's. We may we may not now that I think about that we may not have a hundred yard rusher only because every time we throw the ball it's, it's going to go be, for a touch yeah because like you said I mean Hollywood if he runs that post route he's going to be six seven yards behind everybody yeah. there he's three or four yards behind you know division you know highly touted division one defensive backs you know UCLA and. He's yeah. just blown by those guys. Yeah. He's Army he's, guys. My my just counterpart at my job in Phoenix, he's a big Michigan State fan. He yeah. goes, Boy, that number five. <laughs> and I said, That's Antonio Brown's cousin. He goes, Well, that makes sense. <laughs> it's in his genes. I was like, Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen somebody that fast at Oklahoma. I mean, in a long time. I mean, we. Antonio so, Perkins. Yeah. Well, we talked yeah. about Didi being fast, and, and it's almost like Marquise has another gear. And yeah. Didi. Is not a slouch. He's in Jacksonville right now, and he's leaving people yeah. in the dust in Jacksonville, tearing it up. And you're talking about that level of speed. It's just absolutely elite. And then you put on the other side a possession receiver who catches everything, yeah, thrown his way, and and is fast and elusive himself. You know, in CD. So, <laughs> well, did you guys catch last week the, uh, <laughs> you know, the deep ball? You know that me and Rob have always talked about. You know, he Kyler can't out throw. Um, Correct. You know uh, Hollywood, but he out threw CD. Yeah, yeah. That first deep pass because CD yeah. was wide open. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. you but know he's caught and, up. And to one it. of those yeah. that Lamb caught, he stretched out for him. Right. Yeah. I mean, but I mean that that, that, that post, yeah, there. that that post route. You know who he normally. You can tell who he normally throws that to. You know because he has a point, and you know that that's a point on the field. Yeah. You see him break. They're throwing to a point on the field. Yep. Sixty, seventy yards down. However, you know. And he just he did the same thing with CD out there, and it was just and, too far for and CD. That's, and that's why. He, and he's heard me say this: Why? Why is CD catching punts? <laughs> I mean, just speed alone. I, I'm like, I, number one, I don't want him to get. He's a bigger guy. Yeah, he's got a lot to hit for guys coming bearing down full speed. And number two, he's our possession guy. You know, yeah. he, he's not the speedster. Yeah, the speedster. but if you if you go back from when Lincoln first got well, he here, he had good returns. I mean, I'm well, give it to but him. it's been Sterling. It was Sterling Shepard. Yeah, it was DD, right? And then now it's CD. He wants the best hands back there. Yeah, we don't want to give up the fumble that turn. And that may be it. May be it. That's, he may, in my opinion, he may not be able is. to catch. Punt. And then you know, there's a there's a whole lot of difference running away from everybody than it is running towards, towards everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it's he may different. not. You know, he may not have. He may not have it the moxie in him, yeah. you know. To you know, I got eleven guys headhunting me. Yeah. I don't want to do that. I yeah, mean, no. um, what was the guy from uh, oh, uh, played at Texas Tech? Wes Welker. Oh yeah. Did yeah. you see his uh, um, oh uh, NFL behind the, behind the scenes? Yeah, deal? yeah. We, I watched a little bit. Of that. You know, he hated returning punts. Yeah, yeah. And 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 they showed a clip of you know, basically when he lost his job. Belichick was trying to you know motivate him because uh the kid that's there now i can't think of his name at uh that was returning the akron quarterback yeah made, made a good re- good return he goes well, look and he's standing they had the cameras right on him and the mountain is like look at that wes he may have a job and welcome went he can have it yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 and you could tell it, it not it, amandola it's the other guy he said it was, it was suspended for, for the first four yeah. games this year but it, you could tell it that, pissed yeah it, it julian pissed, element yeah it pissed um belichick off that he said it yeah but he was like you know welker didn't like doing it. i mean yeah. he was good at it yeah. but 
Jesus. Yeah, I mean, it's not a fun thing. Yeah, because yeah, you're. I mean, kid guys are running at you full speed. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, some of the biggest hits in all the football games come off on special yeah, teams and absolutely. kickoff returns and punt returns. So you know that that but that they may wanna, be. want to hurt you. Yeah, and that which may, is why we're freaking out about CD being back yeah. there. But on the flip side of that, it's just what's what's the risk that you're willing to give up? Like, would you rather? Take the opportunity and and have the big plays, but then the one time gives up the fumble that turns the game around, and you know is the squib <laughs> kick. Uh, you know, well, I mean we we UCLA was purpose. No, UCLA had some good returns. Um, um, Iowa State was just kicking it right out of bounds. Yeah, they wouldn't kick it to him because yeah. he had a good week the prior week. They saw the tape. He was cutting right up the middle, and they're like, "Well, we don't want that yeah, to happen." Yeah. Give Kyler Murray an extra twenty <laughs> yards. Forget that. So, no, I think it, I think it'll be a convincing win. It, I just just don't think that we're gonna put put the gas all the way on full burner. Yeah, on offense. I don't. I don't either. Respect. And, that, and then you know, the, you know, the following Oklahoma's not going to get any any respect until we get in another three weeks into the end of the season. Not even. Yeah. TCU. Not this, yeah, when we play TCU. Not if even TC- Texas. Yeah. Yeah, well, Tex- that depends on if TCU s- stays up. If yeah, they don't right. drop in any other games, it's going to depend on that. Yeah. And we TCU may not get any re- – tomorrow. We may not get any respect unless we until we get to West Virginia. Yeah. And we may For, not even get it then depending right. on what they do. Yeah, because, depending on what they do, right. Because West Virginia, I've said it all along, they've been – They're mediocre. For, well, they've been, they've been touted the last five years as – you know they're they're going to be challenging for the Big Twelve championship this year. Yeah. They still haven't. Okay, I mean they they were touted that last year. You know, so until they do it, I don't buy into it. So, um, but they very we may very well play West Virginia and then turn around and play West Virginia again. So yeah. in the championship, but which will do nothing for us. Yeah, no, nothing at all. Yeah, it does. You know. But give somebody else a reason to tell us why we don't deserve to be in. Yeah. You guys want to hear something, a little inside info? No. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Do you know who I am? <laughs> yeah. This is a podcast. So I know. I can't say who. I'm closing my or ears. Or how I came across this information, but 2022, new conference. Oh, yeah. I believe that. So. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it'll be. Are, are we talking a whole new conference or we're joining another? Oklahoma conference? Oklahoma is not in the Big Twelve. Yeah. Oh yeah. You just yeah. really want my wife to kill me, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's I mean, and when I heard it, I was like, no. So I no, think it's it, gonna. I mean, it's inevitable. Yeah, we, it's inevitable. I mean, we. The Big Twelve sucks. <laughs> they they handle us. I mean, we're a marquee team. They give us how many eleven a.m. kickoffs. A year. I mean, we just we get treated like crap here. Texas is still held on a platter, and they're terrible. You know, it's just it's, yeah. it's it gets tiring. It would be the you know, but I I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt if by when you said what twenty twenty two twenty twenty two that we don't see a complete shift like what they tried to do what about three or four years ago. Mm-hmm. You know the super conferences. Yep. I still think it's going to go to that. Oh, I think yeah. so too. Eventually. It's going to go to you know four super conferences, and all you're going to play is each other. Yep. Yeah. So now the conversation is, where do we go? Yeah. Big Ten, Pac-12, SEC. I want us to go to the Pac-12 because you know, ACC. That's twice a year that I get to see the <laughs> Oklahoma play. I was the same way. But I don't. Would, that would be Pac-12. not my number one. It'd be the same. It'd be the same situation. We're only in now. because I can see still being able to recruit Texas. Yeah. And then you're recruiting two of the biggest states. Texas yeah. and California. Put me in the SEC. If everybody thinks said, it's okay. the best, put me in the If I can't do Pac-12, then I'd want to do the SEC because yep. I think it w- would be just fine. Yeah. Well, they all want us. And, oh, yeah. They're all begging. And it's, and it's neither of those. Yeah. Yeah, it's picked in. Yeah. So, Sunbelt. Which I hate. Sunbelt. So. <laughs> Conference USA. <laughs> McNeese State, here we come. <laughs> we are the heartland. <laughs> No, but I, I really hope it does go to you know like the mega conferences, like because that was the colleges pushing for that. Yeah. They were trying to get all, they were trying to force the NCAA's hand into a playoff because yeah. what you have if you have four, you know, four or eight super conferences. Well, hey, round Jake from State Farm. <laughs> <laughs> round, well, round one, round one of the playoffs is the conference championship. Exactly, it was what it should just, be. just just like it is in you know basically the pros. You know, yeah. your your round one is conference championships. Right. 
round in the you know and then you play yourself in to the title and they they could use the big 12 formula as one the big 12 would end up being a division of that conference right. you have exactly. 20 teams and you play right. your nine mm-hmm. and then you go play some yeah, none, of the, none of this cross across I, I hated that you know yeah what every two years you didn't play somebody you know um yeah. It, yeah. you know um from the other division no you just play your division Make it like you said, nine teams. You get some non conference games, but you play your division. At the end of your division, you play a champion of your other division. Yeah. It's simple. And you don't go anywhere without winning a championship of your right. division. Exactly. And Period. if you're Alabama, you finally play somebody west of the Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. That'll never happen. But, you know, that's the only way that it's going to be because they, you know, I'm like you, Brad, with this bullshit of letting two uh, sec teams you in. get my brother in here he was yeah. only, he goes it's a playoff yeah he sounded like playoff Play- yeah. no it's an invitational <laughs> yeah that's what it's you're an right that's what it's you know it's I mean, 12 people deciding though they look good yeah. they look like they deserve to be in I, I, I know they lost their last game it's okay i know they yeah. didn't win their championship they look the part yeah let's put them in yeah they're the, that's that's ridiculous that's Listen, a beauty if you contest. play Furman. You should never get in. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Yeah, if Furman a- is on your schedule, we're out this year, guys. Yeah. Hey, they still have a team? <laughs> yeah, we got uniforms and everything. <laughs> we're playing in Alabama next week. We're getting paid Furman. a million. And then what was the other ones we were talking about, Rob? The, uh, Those are the best games, by the way. Yeah. You pay them a million, and they beat you. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the absolute I smile from ear to ear when I see that. Uh, Appalachian State. Appa- yeah. Yeah. North Texas, right? And they, yeah, North Texas just beat paid Arkansas, a million right? yes. by Arkansas. To yeah. come up and to go well spank them. <laughs> That's a woodshed beating. <laughs> yeah, there was another one. It was 1.1 million. I love they, all of you guys so much. Yeah? I do. <laughs> but you're in trouble. I'm <laughs> so <laughs> trouble right now. I'll be right next to you. Guys. I'm in <laughs> so much trouble right now. Yeah. Why? We can better shut this one down. Be- yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do I, I want I want to sit here and record four. Do parts you want me to call this. your wife for you and th- take care? Of <laughs> you want to put her on the air and not tell her why? And you'll find Don't out real take quick. A call. <laughs> you want to find out why my account was called the Angry Sooner? <laughs> the, 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 call my wife real quick the, when I'm the, in trouble. The hey, best parts of the the worst our parts. First interview. Yeah. <laughs> the, you guys will witness it. The 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 worst part about doing a podcast is that you can't see people's reactions sometimes oh, when you say yeah. stuff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, but when I said that, <laughs> your eyeballs come out of yeah. his head like uh. Yeah. No. Yep. Yeah. She's. Uh, so basically what's happened is, is she was tired, she was exhausted, and I told her I was going to come record a podcast. The podcast was scheduled to be at 7. No, did you tell her or did you ask her? No, no, no. I, yeah, that's my first mistake. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> Hindsight, uh, mistake number one. Yeah. Uh, mis- mistake number two is I was like, well, it starts at 7, and it's only going to be like an hour or so, so I'll be back by 8.30. Like ours are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. First of all, I was late getting here because of the valet, so we didn't start till seven thirty. <laughs> then I just love you guys, so we've been talking, talking forever, for and it's been great. Hey, listen, but it's ten thirty. If you want to get him back when you walk out of here, just tell Mister. Hey, he was in there talking about boobs. <laughs> yeah. My brother never. My brother never came back. He's still playing with the dog. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's doing? Talking to your wife? Yeah. I don't know. Caleb's in there. They're watching yeah, football. They're, so yeah, they're watching football. That's that's what they're doing. They're watching football. So, I guess we're done. I don't want to be. I don't want to <laughs> be. I'm hungry. I want you guys to know that I don't want to be. <laughs> but for the sake of my future on this planet. <laughs> when will it go out? I have to be. I'll put it out tomorrow in the morning. Okay. So, yeah. everybody, be able, you'll be listening to this on game day. Yeah. Cool. So. Well, so with that said, then, we should remind everybody that at yeah. 11 o'clock, Buffalo Wild Wings is, is going to be, we've moved it because of the weather. Yeah. Um, so we're all going to be there. So if you want to stop by and meet us and say hi while we're in town. And, and it's a, I know it's a bummer that it's a Buffalo Wild because we have a great spot for our, for our tailgate. And there's going to be, my wife talked to a couple of them. There are, a lot, there are some setting up later in the day tomorrow, yeah. they said. But I'm just telling you, this much rain. Yeah. It would have been mush yeah. around there, and that many people walking around, and we just right. thought, "We'll try to." I'm going to try to get there by eleven. Yeah, we'll yeah, I'll, I'll show up around eleven. We'll, we're definitely going to spend a lot of time there. I do have some other tailgate obligations that that from some yeah. of you guys that are going to be doing it. So I'll be taking we're off maybe around that. two. Yeah, like, you guys are you insane. Why I, would no? Nah, mm, we don't get into it. I might get a hammy tonight. <laughs> I, I this might. This guy's going to go. 
Yeah. Yeah. But that, but that's also one of the, you know, it's a come and go, but I also, you know, ended it, you know, said three ish is when we'll stop it. Cause that gives people still three hours to get down to the stadium, get to go walk around, do anything like that. But, um, it's a big deal. And there's a lot of people coming. I didn't realize, you know, cause, um, me and Sooner Bomb have been talking and I was like, how many people are coming? Cause I have no idea. I know this, this and this. Well, today when I put out the little kind of tongue in cheek, you know, I don't know if y'all notice I put Lincoln Riley maybe there, yeah. you know, a bunch of Sooner players. <laughs> well, I, I know that. But then everybody started. Morning told me that in the, uh, the field house, North of the stadium. Yeah. Bosworth. Yeah. Billy Sims are all going to be in there. Yeah. So that's the old club, the so old club. That's yeah. all athletes, all athletes. Oh. Well, they said if if you're a anyone out there that is a um, Price School of Business grad, you get in free. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. My dad, and my brother, <coughs> and they each person gets a plus one. <laughs> I'm a plus one. All right. Once but, again, so, yeah, just, take it, just rub it all over my. Yeah. Phone. Oh well. I'll but tell everybody. But you know, I mean, <laughs> we still. Me. No, you're right. We didn't know how. Like again, we didn't know how many people were coming, so I put that out there, and then and then uh, sooner Rom tag some other people, and then the next thing we know, we got all these people go. Well, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm yeah. coming. I'm coming. Yeah. I'm like, holy crap! I told them twenty to fifty people. Yeah. <laughs> but they'll well, be fine it. with it. I mean, they'll they're going to make money, it. right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So people are going to more uh, people have their mo- that 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 CD shirt. Was she giving those away? I don't no, think so. No, she's out. Sell, they're she's selling, selling them for 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. And but I uh, got OU DNA on the back. Yeah, and but they I mean Buffalo Wild Wings, you know, we talked to the uh, John the manager and when we brought it up he was like, "Well, if the weather's good, which it will be probably by noon or afternoon, he goes, "Y'all can just have the patio and quarter of the bar." Awesome. And he goes, and if it's bad, you can just have the bar. Cool. And we're like, okay. (laughs) So we went in and uh, we actually, I talked to two of the bartenders that are normally there and they're going to be there. uh, Some of our favorites there. So it'll be, we're going to, and it is family friendly. They got a basketball goal outside uh, by the patio. We've got, um, they've got a cornhole game. I'm going to bring ours. So there'll be, I'll bring a football. So there'll be stuff for kids to do if they're around there. So don't be afraid to bring your kids out. And yeah, it's going to be a good time. I'm yeah, really it'll excited. be fun. And it will, you know, just a place for everybody to kind of meet up, meet everybody, and then move on and go do, you know, still yeah. still three hours to go walk the grounds. Do you yeah. guys know the shuttle from Lloyd Noble? Is that a $5 or what? It's free in there, right? Or is it five bucks? There ain't nothing free, is there? <laughs> so my contact this morning told me it was free, but when I got to the house, my dad goes, that's five bucks. Yeah. I mean, five dollars, but, but from what, they, what he was saying is, you're you're already outside of the traffic, so when you get shuttled back, right. yeah. you can just jump out. You jump see, on Highway Nine, and right? Go. And, and Buffalo Wild Wings is right down the road, right two down miles, the road, yeah. perfect from, from there, so it'll be easy access to parking. Hop on the shuttle, get up there to the game, and yeah. or get you close to the game still early enough that you can walk around and do stuff. So perfect, but it'll be a good time. So just like tonight has been a good time. So it's been the best yeah. time. Yeah. Thank you guys yeah. for, you know, traveling halfway across the com- country and going, Hey, let's sit down and talk with these guys and do a podcast. And that's been pretty cool. We couldn't wait. We <laughs> so, couldn't wait. It's been good. Yeah. I mean, I, I hollered at Rob when you sent me a deal. I was like, they want to do a podcast where I was like, cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, we so, were, we were super excited to, to sit down with you guys. I, we, we, we talk often off air, but we love what you guys do. You guys do it the right way. You have a lot of fun. It's passionate. It's not. There's no agenda behind it. You guys right. are the epitome of what I think a podcast should be, and we're thankful to be guests in here and, yeah. and be in your beautiful home, and, and we're going to have a hell of a time tomorrow, too. Yeah, it's going to be a good game. The fun's Appreciate about to really start. Yeah. But, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's what it's all about. Everybody <laughs> talking fo- football. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly you know. why the way we started was on the app, and we were just talking about yeah. Football. Yeah. Fo- yeah. And we're like, let's just record like, it. You guys had these great points and conversation. And I was like, well, we just record it and put it out. Yeah. They, I mean, that, like I tell people, that's what we're, me and Rob do. We do what we always do anyway. We just put a microphone in our face. Exactly. Because exactly. <laughs> that's all me and Rob talk about pretty exactly. much. Exactly. That and look Rob at, talks look, about Look boots. at Rob's pick as we we're about to look sign at off. We're watching the Illini up 20. Oh, no. Penn State nope. pulled back. 28-24. <laughs> close game. Penn State. All right, guys. All right. Uh, if you don't hear from me tomorrow, please call <laughs> the local authorities and send them to the Skirvin Hotel and my or last the, known whereabouts. Or, or, or the, the dumpster in the back or of the Or the Skirvin. dumpster behind the <laughs> Skirvin Hotel. Um, I'm going to jet out of here. Boomer Sooner, y'all. Right, boomer, guys. Boomer. Boomer. Come on.
Thanks for listening to the Sooner Football Fans Podcast. Hit the subscribe button right now on whatever app you're listening to to download every episode as they come out. Check us out on Twitter and Facebook and on YouTube. Boomer Sooner.